Hi guys. Uh, lately, I've started exploring the integration of Adobe Flex with SAP Web App Intro. I went through some of the blogs on SDN and I found it quite interesting. Here, I've built a sample application showcasing how do we integrate Adobe Flex with SAP Web App Intro. Um, I'm planning to make three videos on this. The first video I'll cover about uh, explaining, uh, giving a high level overview about the application, how it looks and what it does. In the second video, I'm going to talk about the SAP site coding, that is what we do in Adobe Intro to integrate the Adobe Flex. In the third video, I'm going to talk about Adobe Flex coding. So let's get started with the first video. So here is the application, how it looks, uh, you know, when we complete the Adobe Flex integration. So we have a button called Planet. And you have a view container UI element here, which has uh, Adobe Flex embedded in it. Uh, and you have an ALV list, which has uh, all the details about the planets. So when you click on the planets button, I'm triggering an action, which calls my Adobe Flex application. So it has a you know nice animation. Uh, you know, you see the images of the planets moving around a circle. When you move, when I move my mouse away from the center of the animation, the speed of the rotation increases. As I come close to the center, the speed of the rotation decreases, right? When I come to the exact center, it comes to a standstill. So this is a, you know, a little bit of animation I've done to make it interesting. And then if I if I want to see the details of any of the planet, I just need to, for example, let's say I want to see the details of the Mercury, uh, sorry, Neptune. No, let's see about Mercury. Right. Okay. So I want to see the details of the Mercury. Now when I select the Mercury, uh, what the application does is it, it makes Mercury, it, it, it brings the Mercury in, in focus. Right. Now if I click this Mercury, it opens up another window which has image of the mercury planet and some of the details of the planet like diameter and what's the distance from the sun how many moons it has and some of the facts uh, some interesting facts about the mercury okay so and you can also update some of the data in the flex and get it reflected in sap for example the moons field here is an input field now the currently uh, you know, Mercury has no moons. Let's say tomorrow scientists figured out that it has 10 moons. So update is 10 here and they click on update. Now what happens is if you see in the below ALV list, if you see the Mercury row here, the moons has been updated to 10. Now the update button what I have here is, is built in Flex, not in SAP. So when I click this update button, I'm triggering an action on SAP side and updating my ALV. Now in the next two videos, I'm going to talk about uh, how do we trigger events from Flex to SAP and how do we transfer data from SAP back to Flex. Okay, so hope you guys like this video. Thank you so much for listening. Bye-bye.